and and they kept building on the momentum of it, um, and uh, they were capitalized on the opportunities. And uh, I give our guys a lot of credit for the resolve to go down and score. Um, you know, unfortunately, they uh, you know they hit us with a couple big plays, and they 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 made the plays. You know, I I love to say that the call was wrong here or there, but uh, you know that the 50-50 balls that went up in the air, they came down with them, and. Um, you know, it was the broken play. The broken plays really hurt us the most today. With the quarterback um, kind of improvising and, and flinging the ball up down the field, and they, they caught it, you know. And then ultimately the, then the run game kicked in for them. Um, I wish we could have capitalized more offensively in the second half um, to, to try to extend the lead a little bit. We didn't. Um, but, you know, big picture-wise, we've uh, – you know, this will test our mettle. All right, we, we, we'll find out what we're made of. Um, we've got to bounce back next week. We've got another uh, great football team coming to coming to DKR um, with an opportunity to uh, to get ourselves right before the bye, um, which I think we will. Um, you know, I think I love the heart and desire of our team, the mentality of our team. Um, but this is uh, this is, this one hurts. That's what sports about. You know, when you when you play a, a tight game and a rivalry game, uh, it hurts. So we're going to have to pick ourselves back up uh, to play a really good opponent next week and then um, have the bye and then go into the second half of the season, um, you know, with an opportunity to see what we can do. And, you know, ultimately, um, you know, my mindset is I'd love to get another crack at these guys, hopefully in December. So that's that. All right, we'll open up for questions. Uh, let's start with Brian Davis. Uh, Anwar, you'll be up next. Steve, uh, how much do you attribute kind of just the breakdown of the offensive line as the, as the second half wore on as to a root cause of y'all's problems today? Um, you know, they had a really good defensive front. We knew that going into the game. Um, we felt we had a good plan to do some things. Um, they started to get more penetration uh, up front defensively, um, which is pretty much what we saw on tape all year long. And in the first half, the first half, I thought we stabilized that uh, and we didn't have that penetration. And then it, it started to get a little bit leaky. Um, you know, that, that when you're playing a good front over time, you know, that the whole key to the drill is winning on first down. So you don't put yourself in the third long. And that's what we were struggling to do there in the second half. You know, we were we were losing first and 10 and we were playing second long, third long football. And um, that's that's a hard way to 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 operate consistently. So, um, you know, looking back, first and ten was probably you know one of the keys offensively where we struggled. All right, Anwar, go ahead. Um, Coach, you guys gave up over six hundred yards of offense. Um, what was happening on defense, and can you speak to the lack of a pass rush today? Yeah, you know, I, I think the, the biggest thing, you know, a lot of their plays, to their credit, and they made the change at quarterback. Um, a lot of the plays they were creating were, were on kind of broken plays. Was the quarterback out of the pocket? Um, you know, we lost, we lost um, our, rush, our rush contain leverage, uh, our rush lanes, and the quarterback was able to extend plays. And then I think there might have been three 50-50 balls or so, maybe more, that got kind of flung up in the air. And they made the play, you know, I mean, even the one at the end, you know, he gets his toe in bounds for the touchdown. Um, that, that was, that was a big key to it. Um, you know, I think the other side of it is when you look at the time of possession, they had the ball for 35 minutes, you know, they ran 81 plays, you know, we were a little big little today. We only ran 61 plays and had the ball for 24 minutes. So that's a long time having those guys on the field. Um, you know, it's, you know, at the end of the day, when, when these two teams get together, this is kind of the, the story, right? The, the ball is going up and down the field. You got to try to find a way to create turnovers, which we did early. Unfortunately, the one that, that we had on the kickoff return um, was a costly one right there in the fourth quarter that, that gave them the short field for the touchdown. All right, uh, Jenny Carlson, you're up next. John, you'll be in the, John High, you'll be in the, uh, on deck. Hey, Steve, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about Kennedy. Brooks, um, they went to the direct snap with him, uh, I think on three or four occasions and a couple of them were those late touchdowns. What was it about that particular play that 
gave you guys trouble and just him overall uh, having a big day against your defense. Yeah, he had, he had a nice game. Uh, obviously the, the run there at the end was, was a huge one. Um, the direct snap play did a nice job. You know, they had kind of a little window dressing with the motion. Um, kind of, we lost our eyes a little bit at linebacker with the motion, the direct snap. Um, the timing is a little bit different on your traditional, your traditional play on the counter play. Uh, they blocked it well. You know, I think we had a couple opportunities there. Um, you know, I don't think it was really a surprise that it was coming. Uh, we just didn't fit the run right. And then he had the explosiveness to, to crease it and, and find the end zone. Go ahead, John. Coach, what's uh, going through your mind in the second half when, when they're starting to rally? And you said you'll find out what your team is made of next week. What did you find out they were made of today? Oh, we fought. We fought like crazy. Uh, it wasn't about effort today. We battled. Um, there was, I, I don't know how many bang, bang plays. You know, I mean, what amazing effort by Deshaun Jameson to, to rip the ball out on the long run. And they review it and, and say he was down. Um, they, they fling a couple balls up, three balls up, you know, 50, 50 balls. They caught it, you know, I mean, I, I, it wasn't for effort. It wasn't for our guys just completely blowing coverages and things. It was, they, they, they made those plays, you know, and, and in the end, um, that effort and that resolve and our ability to go down and score is what we're, we have to continue to build this program on, uh, is our style of play, our effort, um, we'll, we'll get better. Um, but in the, in the short term, you know, our metal is going to get tested in that. Can we bounce back and how quickly can we bounce back for a quality opponent next week? All right, Sam Kahn, you're up. Uh, Bob Ballou, you're up next. Hey, Steve, I'm curious, just uh, from a big picture standpoint, are you concerned just about the run defense as a whole? Um, I, I'm not necessarily concerned. You know, I, I think – I think three of the long runs came on the direct snap play. So obviously we have an issue there. You know, we've got to get that fixed. Um, another one kind of spit late. Um, you know, they, they definitely got a charge uh, in the run game when they, when they, when they changed quarterbacks and it came into a little bit more of a zone read, quarterback reading things, potential pulls. I thought that slowed us down a little bit. I thought we were playing pretty good in the run early on. Uh, when it went to a different style of game, um, that's the part we've got to get fixed, you know, and we got to be able to make those adjustments and, and the players, coaches, players included uh, in game uh, when something like that happens. All right, Bob, go ahead. Nick Moyle, you'll be up next. Yeah, Sark, I know uh, Xavier had the fumble coming out of the end zone, but can you talk about his day offensively and just how, how good he was uh, from the word go, obviously on the first play all the way through? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's totally what he's capable of. Um, you guys heard me talk about it last week. I thought, you know, how he played last week was totally out of character. Uh, I think this is what he's capable of. Uh, this guy's a dynamic playmaker. Um, you know, I, I think that that was a really cool moment for him to bounce back from the fumble uh, and make such a contested catch uh, at a critical moment for the touchdown. Um, you know, but the guy's, uh, the, the guy's a great player now, but his future is even brighter. Um, we're fortunate to have him. All right, Nick, go ahead. Chris Tavares, you're up next. Yeah, Steve, uh, Bijan ends up, I think it's uh, 137 yards on 20 carries. Um, but, you know, a lot of that was on the two big plays that he had. So I think without that, it's 54 yards on 18 carries, uh, especially later in the second half. It seems like they were giving you problems in the run game. You know, what was Oklahoma doing to sort of dime you guys in, in that phase? Well, I mean, coming into the game, there was no secret. These guys led the country in tackles for loss. Uh, They're penetrating defensive front. Um, I think it's the strength of their team, quite frankly. Um, so we, you know, as much as we could control the line of scrimmage, that that was going to be a bonus for us. But we had a feeling coming in, it might be, a, a, you know, some big little plays, you know, the, where you, know, you, you got to grind out the, the, you know, the three yard runs. Uh, but there was going to be some ones that were going to hit. And that's kind of how the game went. You know, I mean, I don't think anybody's feeling sorry for him rushing 20 times for 137 yards, averaging 6.8 a carry against that against that front. Um, they, they they had stoned the run coming into the game. Uh, so for us to generate that in the run game, um, I think we would have taken it. All right, Chris, go ahead. Jeff, how are you next? 
Steve, a, a quick one and then another one. Uh, it was, was Casey 100% throughout the entire game because it looked like his hand might have been bothering him on his throwing hand? And also just the momentum swings that were happening in this game are so typical of this rivalry. How much did that kind of – did you feel that? Did that affect the, the flow of the game? Uh, yeah, Casey had kind of banged up his thumb, um, you know, but uh, trainers and got him right, and he, he felt good. And obviously, you know, played a heck of a game, you know, almost 400 yards passing, five touchdowns, um, some critical throws there. Uh, you know, obviously, they, they captured the momentum there kind of late third and then into the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, momentum – when it, when it mounts on you, I, I think, you know, one of the keys for us is to get it back is to focus on the positive. And uh, that's something for us that um, we need to work on. Um, you know, we were kind of in their end of the field with their crowd and you could kind of feel it almost, you know, quite frankly, it was like being on, on the road in a road game. Um, and that's where you've, you've got to really execute and you, you've got to get a first down, then two, then three to kind of swing that momentum back. Uh, and we just weren't able to do it quick enough. Um, but, you know, it was a good learning lesson on that front of, of where our, our mental state needs to go uh, when you're in a type of game like this. All right, Jeff, go ahead. Uh, Cole Thompson, you're up next. Sark, you, you've already kind of talked about this a little bit, but the, the explosive passing plays they got off some of those broken plays. For you, is it, is it one of those deals where maybe you kind of watch the tape and see is it you just tip your catch as a quarterback, do your guys need to do a better job of tracking the ball, making a play where, I guess – I don't know if you want to ask necessarily where does the fault lie, but how do you judge success, failure, what have you on, on those kind of situations? Uh, those are tough. I mean, we'll look at the tape. Um, I mean, B.J. Foster is in great position, and the kid makes a heck of a catch. Darian Dunn's in great position. Kid makes a heck of a catch. He gets his foot in bounds for the touchdown. Um, you know, uh, hard, to, hard, to, hard to say we were wrong. Um, you know, I would love for us to find a way to, to get a hand in there and, and knock the ball down. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they made the play on the ball when it was 50-50. So we'll look at the technique of it all, but uh, it's hard for me to say right now without looking at the tape. All right, Cole, go ahead. Yeah, Steve, just want to get an update on Jordan. Was it an elbow injury? Was it a shoulder injury? And then just, just losing him for the last few drives, you think that put a little bit more pressure on Casey now to have that middle of the field open? Um, yeah, it was a clavicle injury. Um, so we'll assess that, um, you know, Jordan, you know, I think he, I think he provides a lot for us, uh, in the middle of the field. Um, but I, I, I don't know if that necessarily hindered us, you know, Marcus Washington went in the game, um, makes a heck of a catch there in the, in the, in the, you know, front pylon right there. And unfortunately his toe was out of bounds where their kid got their toe inbounds. Our guy's toe was out of bounds, you know, I mean, so, um, you know, Marcus stepped up, but, um, you know, that's, that's the whole idea. It's next man up, and that's why we practice the way we practice, and guys get a lot of reps.